Today, Americans are making a beer tier list. First up, we got the Keystone Light. When I think of Keystone, I think like my dad in the 90s watching Seahawks <laughs> drinking Keystone next to Marlboro Reds, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, definitely next to the Marlboro Reds. That's what it seems like. I'm always really good at pouring. As you can see, professional. Professional head giver. Guys, tell me how great that is. Ah, you pissed me off. That's totally. <laughs> totally acceptable. It's light, it's good, it has a ting to it. I think we just put it in the middle for now. Yeah, very oh, good. So I, I need to see what else is on the table. Okay, so let's do Bush next, because have you seen the Bush commercials where they're like out in the forest? The Bush Guide, cold and smooth survival skills. No. Keystone gives I think we vibe. have different search history, so I don't get Bush commercials. I get really fucking weird commercials. <laughs> what's that, what's that knockoff Walmart? <laughs> What? <laughs> What's that knockoff Walmart? Uh, I can't think of it. That's why I don't want him to speak. He just never finishes anything he has to say. I can't think of the damn word. I don't know why I keep pouring it like this. Probably just to make everyone watching angry. But um, okay, let's get some bush light brewed in the USA. So far, it's Americans tasting American beer. Yeah, oh, that has a stink to it. Oh, it's a good stink, like your father's stink. Mm -hmm. This is watered down. Way different. Keystone's way better. It pretty much tastes like a watered down Keystone. I think we should lower this down a little bit. Go something like that. They're they're in the middle so far. Would you agree? I would think though that Keystone is better than Bush. Oh, right. That's what I meant. That is what I meant to do there. Susie, make sure you're on camera two, angle three. Why are you trying to steal my jokes? I'm just going <laughs> to clip my joke and now you're not going to look original anymore. We did anymore. the same. We did the same thing. But I same. actually worded went through it. with it. <laughs> you worded it. You, I you, was thinking You weren't man enough to complete the joke. Joke, so. I was thinking it. Anyway, next up we got Dos Equis. I love Dos Equis. It is a phenomenal beer. Mmm. It's like a milkshake. <laughs> you gotta blow on the phone. Why do I do this? It's just water. <laughs> Sniff, cheers. That is just so, so malty compared to the other two. It's, it's like a different league of beer. It has a caramel taste. Does it actually have a flavor to it? Yeah, this one is definitely better. I'm gonna say this one goes in the lead by far though. Keystone, I don't think is that much underneath though. It's just a different flavor. That one's lighter. This one's a tiny bit of muskiness. Yeah, it's I was gonna say that. It kind of has like a savory, musky savory, type Savory, like a roasted savory. chicken. What do you want to do next? Let's do a Corona. Got the Corona Extra. Have you guys tried the, I know it's a sticky subject, but the Bud Light zero calorie? <laughs> really not that bad of a beer. Didn't change me. <laughs> wow, that one's different too. I don't like it as much. No, it kind of has like a more soury mash taste. It, it is sour. I think we should move these down. Keystone will go in the middle. Dos Equis for now will go right there. What do you think? Well, let's go straight to your Bud Light. Oh yeah, we were just talking about these. So with these ones, this is how you open it. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. I don't know how much people are going to hate me after this episode, but we love everyone equally. That's why we have Bud Light in here. Honestly, I hate Bud Light, but I've always hated Bud Light. <laughs> Bud Light is like the unofficial beer for teenagers. I feel like it definitely is like the high school type party vibe beer. I, it's actually not that bad. I always don't think it's that bad because I always think it's going to be really bad. Do you think it's gonna go above the Corona? Corona's better. The bush is better too. Retaste the bush. The aftertaste of that Bud Light, it's a little stanky. But bush just tastes like it's- Water, like, but then get that. Not water, it just tastes like it's old. Most people with bushes are old. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding, I'm young, I got a bush. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Uh, it's, it let's Bruh. put bush ahead. Next up, let's do Pacifico. I really like Pacifico. Yeah, it's pretty good. The branding always misleads me. There's a type of beer called the St. Paul's Girl. But it's a darker beer. Yeah, so it's it, a German beer. And so I always want to have that flavor when I see the Pacifico. That's good. It's better than the Dos Equis, I think. Man, I just like that darker flavor of Dos Equis. I think they actually taste super, super similar. Let's do a quick test. Open your mouth. <laughs> Next. Which one do you like more? Oh, they wow. taste the same? They taste super similar. I told you, taste. dog. Man, uh, I don't know. That last one you gave me, though, I think it was the Pacifico. I, I kind of prefer it. it. Oh, you, it was the Pacifico. How'd yeah. you know? You just by the taste? Well, it kind of has like a little bit limier taste to yeah, it. Yes, and it's a little tiny bit lighter. They're both really good, though. It's not like a big, drastic difference. No, the like, cutoff line is like right here. I, I don't really like the Corona that much either. Honestly, I think we should move those farther down as we keep going. And Corona. Corona can go down, too. <laughs> Corona. Yeah, f those guys. You caused the virus. <laughs> I'm surprised Keystone's doing so damn good, man. Yeah, to be honest. Next up, we got Coors Banquet. Popular yeah, growing beers. up, we call them yellow bellies. I like that. Why do you call it a yellow belly? Because it can. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought there'd be more to that story. 
Don't drink if you're under 21. Bad for your brain. You don't want to end up like this guy. Come on. He's only 17. Look at him. He's had a hard <laughs> life. <laughs> This is pretty good though. I think it's. I think it should go in between these. I think it goes right things. under the Dosekis. Bink, like just a tiny yeah. movement. Yeah. That's where we're at for now. Next up, we got Shaq's cough. We got High Life, Miller Life, Miller High Life. <laughs> high Life, Miller Life, Miller the Life of the High. All right, this thing's huge. We've. God damn, I can't even. So I. Don't do that. I do that. Let me do it. You just <laughs> that twitch. Hurts. Let me do it, you nail biter. <laughs> I got it. There we go. Cheers. <laughs> Let me fight through the foam. <laughs> Tastes like sewage water. <laughs> Tastes like foam. It's not that bad, actually. No, but it's a lot darker. And I think Bud Light's better. It kind of makes Bud Light taste caramel. That's pretty bad when you can make Bud Light taste better. Good, yeah. Okay, well, let's take that big f***er and put it back yeah, here. Yeah, he's gonna make our whole board go freaking backwards. What do we got next, sir? If logger. Fosters. Fosters. Got some good old Fosters. I've you never know. had Fosters. The big old can, it's Ozzy. Sounds like some family sitcom on TV. Give me a Fosters. Oh, there's Grandpa Joe drinking his Fosters. He's like, rugged old sunbathed hand is wrinkly leather f***er drinking these. Cheers. That is so bad. Can you imagine it being you might like as well hot grab as a gym sock and just squeeze the juice out. Yeah. Maybe you have to eat it with something, but this is definitely like yeah, sour. like like this would probably be pretty okay if you like took it down with a Pacifico. <laughs> You know? Do you think it goes down? No, here? that's last. This is last. Oh, and make sure you guys turn on your notification bell. We do videos like this every single week. I don't want you to miss an episode. Hit subscribe. Anyway, next up we got the cores. Good old cores. Cores last. Coors has so many different beers. Coors Originals and the Coors Light, man. Something about it is so nostalgic that it's hard to like rate it low. That's how I feel about like the Mexican beer. I'm just a sucker for Mexican beer. I love it. That is fucking good though. It makes the Keystone taste dirty. I think this goes above the Dos Equis. Now you're in La La Land, son. I don't think so. Also, the other issue is like, dude, I mean, we've already had how many beers? It starts to all taste the same, dog. It does. I didn't go to college to fucking taste beer. <laughs> you didn't go to college. Oh, uh, and I didn't go to college. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> well, I started a YouTube. <laughs> Help me with, with my success story. I definitely think it's above the course. It's definitely much better than the Keystone, though. I tried the Keystone again, and it was like kind of ass compared to With this. its lightness, I'm going to go above it. Damn. Coors? You're doing good. I don't even know how you pronounce this. Tecate. Tecate. Do you pronounce the E? Tecate. It's Mexican. Cerveza, way. It's a Mexican cerveza. Ooh, that's a stink smell. It smells like farts. Does it? Ooh. We had this on the Mexican beer episode. You weren't there. You weren't cool enough for that episode. Yeah, I know. No, this definitely tastes like <sighs> a skunked beer. Yeah, this is shit. It's almost like when you hit your head. It feels like it's if that you, medley. If you find someone with an iron deficiency. <laughs> yeah, give them one of these. It just tastes like someone grabbed beer and a metal can and blended it up together. Yo, that can is not good. It tastes like shit. Real I quick. think it goes below Foster's. Like, if you don't want your kids to drink beer, give them one of those. Like, giving them a carton of cigarettes? Sounds like my first birthday. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's Breakfast Club. Most of our viewers are too young for that. You ever watch Breakfast Club? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is like one of my favorites. Mr. Lob. Yeah. I love this one too. This is like definitely one of my modern day favorites. It's like 30 calories a beer. Uh, Can it get better? 30 calories. Yeah, White Claw. Yeah, White Claw is really good too. How many calories is White Claw? I don't know. Probably negative calories. Yeah. <laughs> I drink White Claw and it gives me f***ing six pack. <laughs> I Sponsor me. Abs. Sponsor me, White Claw. I get abs when I drink White Claw. Sponsor me. Sometimes I'm like, oh, feeling kind of fat. Let me drink three White Claws. Suddenly six pack. So I, I like fight kind of a little bit. I box. Never knew how. Drink a White Claw. Suddenly I could box. <laughs> Mike Tyson. Yeah. So this is a fun fact. Mike Tyson drinks 15 White Claws a day. What? Did you know that? He drinks he 15 White Claws. I'm just kidding. He, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just made that up, but it sounded. You're a believer. But you believed it, didn't you? Because that's how good White Claws, can please sponsor me. <laughs> Cheers. That's, oh, yeah, that's good. It's got that nostalgic beer taste. It feels light, like it's not gonna like weigh you down. There's no skunkiness to it. You can almost taste the field. Say that. Are you Betty White? You don't taste the field. Yeah, you can, man. This is so hot. God bless you, Betty White. We love you. Is she dead? You didn't know? Dead ass. Thought Betty was, White? Yeah, she died. When? Like last year? I'm about to change the title of this to <laughs> my friend just found out Betty White died. When? She died on her 100th birthday. No way. Dead ass. In her sleep. Like an angel. What a way to go. This tastes like a Betty White angel. Betty White would drink this. If you want to live a long time, drink. I bet uh, you Betty White does drink. She did. She did drink. 
<laughs> 15 white claws a day. <laughs> 15 McLovin Ultras a day. <laughs> All right, where do you think we should put, this is good. This so is, I think it should go, man, I really just want to put something above that Dos Equis. I think it should either be in first or below. No, first. You just hate Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah. got me. I'm guilty. <laughs> yeah, it's it's better than Pacifico. Let's do the next beer. Okay, man, sticking with the light beers, I think we should do Natty Light. Are you Natty? Are you Natty, bro? I'm Wait, totally Natty. Does Natty mean that means natural, right? Yeah. Dude. Like natty Light. <laughs> You're not Natty, are you? I'm totally. He's not on natty. Helleroid. You can tell. Look at those arms. <laughs> Shut up, dude. I don't think I've ever had a natural light. Like, yeah, Natty Light is totally for that dad. Like, like, <laughs> like the dad's picking these up after we go to Blockbuster to pick up some movies. Right? Yeah, and he's like, like, I'm gonna sneak this in the garage and have, have like a, a couple sick natural bat. lights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. While I'm working on the roof. Going to the shed. Yeah. yeah. This is light too. It's almost too light. It almost tastes like almonds. Yeah. It's somewhere in between. Yeah. Let's let's right now we're running out of space. Let's take these two the, off. They don't even deserve to be on the board. Takate and Foster's is leaving the game. You're eliminated. Let's move those two over. Natural Light is taking third to last, so it is in bad. Okay, let's wash that down with some Modelo. Modelo. This is another one of those beers that we usually, when we're hanging out on the weekends, we have Modelo. Love Modelo. Good beer. Solid. It's like me. It's a solid friend. Not the best friend. It's not great, but it's, it's okay. <laughs> it just keeps going. Like, would you rather hang out with me or a murderer? Probably me. Just saying. That should count for something. Something. Cheers. Much darker than the others, actually. Every single one of these is much lighter. Oh, and you can totally taste it. This is like a dark coffee. It's an acquired taste, but it's an acquired taste that I like. It's weird, because I like it so much more when I just drink it from the can. The minute I start drinking it like this, I'm like, eh, it's not that good. I'm saying I think the branding makes us like it a little bit more. You think so? Yeah, like Dos Equis is definitely better. Yeah, well, this so the mic died, but we talked for a little while, and here Jason is just telling me how he thinks I'm super manly and wishes he was as cool as me. And then we decided on putting the Modelo right between the Dos Equis and the Coors Light. So let's do the next beer. Final beer we have Budweiser, king of beer. Fucking blown. That is a... Uh... I don't that know. is absolutely not half bad. <laughs> not half bad, exactly. That's what I was gonna say. It's, it's somewhere. Okay. I feel like it's somewhere around right here. Barely better than the Coors Banquet. Barely better. You than agree? The Coors, yeah. The bud. Yeah. This is the lineup. This is what you should get. This is how it goes. If you want to listen to us, but who the f are we? Just a bunch of imbeciles. We don't really know shit. I hope you enjoy this episode. And remember, stay boozy. Let's get boozy.